Hello, I'm Rusty Sparks, and today we'll be looking at how Ridgeland teachers provide academic collaboration between academics and CTAE classes. Mr. Davis, he is the agriculture teacher here at Ridgeland High School. What do your students learn with the aquaculture greenhouses? Our students learn in, in, our, in the aquaponics greenhouse concepts and, and, and theories that they've, that they've learned in their other classes. Now they're applying those and putting them together with hands-on lab experiences. How long do you think that the STEM grant has helped student education? Well, the STEM grant has truly enriched what we have here at Ridgeland as far as technology and, and uh, other uh, devices that we have here at school that, that the program, software, and, and things like that that basically add to any student's education. Where are all your contributions to the greenhouses, all culture greenhouses? I, I'm nothing but merely an advisor. My students are the ones that do the most of the contributions. They, uh, they alone have pretty much uh, built the greenhouse as far as with the designs inside of the aquaculture units. They've been the ones that refined it. They've been the ones that have, have, have went through the experiments, putting things together. I truly did nothing but God. This is Ms. Sandy Weathers. She's the head of the um, science department here at Ridgeland High School. I want to ask you a few questions about the aquaculture greenhouse today. In the science department, trying to expose as many students as possible uh, to this wonderful opportunity with the probeware. We're also learning about ecosystem management. Not only do you have to worry about the health of the fish, but you have to worry about the health of other organisms involved in ecosystems such as the bacteria. Do you think that the STEM grant has helped with student education? Oh, the STEM grant has helped with their student education. Uh, one of the most important things that has been provided by the STEM grant is the Vernier probeware equipment. And the science department has received uh, 30 to 45 interfaces. They attach to different probeware, and we use those with water quality testing and just a variety of different labs that we can do in the aquaculture lab and in our classrooms. What are the challenges that you face with the um, aquaculture greenhouse? I guess the biggest challenge is time management. I would love to have an unlimited amount of time to collaborate uh, with Mr. Davis and the other CTAE teachers. And this is Ms. Forster. She's the drafting teacher here at Rizzo Nassau. We're we'll asking for some questions today. What do your students learn in the aquaculture greenhouses? Well, they learned how to apply uh, their measuring skills and then apply that to a drawing of the greenhouse. Do you think that the STEM grant has helped with your students' education? It has. They've learned how to apply uh, what they've learned in class to uh, something that they can see, something uh, for real world use. This is Mr. Aftal. He is the head of the math department at Ridgeland High School. I want to ask him a few questions today. What do your students learn from the Aquaconic lab? Well, I think what the big thing they learn is that this math that we're learning in their particular unit has direct application into other fields. Uh, whether they're interested or not, it shows a little bit of a, a light into, well, you can use this in the math classroom, but this is a real-life application. How do you think that the STEM grant has helped with student education? I think what it's really done is created a platform to access information, knowledge, and in learning. What were your contributions to the aquaponics lab? My contributions were, were very limited compared to Mr. Davis or, or Mr. Hurst. Um, I was more of a support role in what do you have going on, how can I support what your students are learning in a math classroom, um, and then what other small projects can we collaborate on um, to make it a better experience. There have been some ideas that we've had that haven't been able to be done in the math classroom, but were able to be done in the uh, egg mechanics course or even in the biology courses. What do your students learn in the aquaculture greenhouses? Well, they learn how their academics are integrated with their vocational classes, so they can see how their academics are actually tied into uh, the real world applications. What are your contributions to the aquaculture greenhouses? Uh, my engineering class actually designed the robot, the, the autonomous robot that, that actually goes out in the greenhouse. Um, and I say autonomous, it's not autonomous yet, that's our goal this year, uh, is to make it where it can run on its own um, so that we won't have to have any input whatsoever with it. But 